this is Lisa from Stop, Drop, and Knit, and I have an unboxing video today. I finally got my um, Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month in the mail yesterday, and so I am really excited to open it and share it with you as I do that. Oh, we have lots of black and white, as I was expecting. All right, let's see what we've got. I've got this I've got a black fiber in a white package and I have got a white fiber in a black package this is really exciting this smells beautiful okay and I dropped it because this wouldn't be the stop drop and knit podcast if I didn't drop something every single filming but there's also this cute little black and white notions bag so all right Let's begin. All right, I love this. Everything is so, okay, so duality. That is the theme of this month's bag. Okay, peace and war, love and hate, up and down, black and white. These famous duplexities teach us that every aspect of life is created from a harmonious interaction of opposing and competing forces that balance each other like a well-plied hand-spun yarn. Explore this concept while crafting this month with contrasting shades, textures, and fiber contents all in one unique fiber blend. We call these blends Gotland Tweed, and we hope creating with them brings more balance and serenity to your life. How awesome. Okay, so let's dig in. Let's start with the fiber first. Okay, so the white fiber here. This Gotland Tweed blends approximately four ounces of yin black. Oh, they're both. This is the talking about both of them. Okay. So there's about four ounces of the yin is the black and approximately four ounces of yang, the white, in opposite colored organza bags. These durable blends consist of 50% natural Gotland wool top, 25% merino wool top, and 20, no, 20% Tussa silk top, and 5% viscose tweed. How cool. Okay, and then it, it gives you the, um, please be aware due to the nature of black dye, the dyed Tessa silk and the dyed viscose tweed in the yin blend may bleed for the first few washes. You may wish to wash before spinning if you plan to work it with the white yang fiber to prevent color bleeding. So that's just a good tip. Um, yeah, so, oh my gosh, I want to open these. I think I'm going to open the white bag with the black fiber first. So, oh my goodness, this is so soft. I am always amazed by how soft this fiber is. Look at how beautiful this is, you guys. Oh my goodness. It is just so, so luxurious. It, it, yeah, you can definitely feel the silk in these blends. This is a, amazingly beautiful. Let's get the white out and I'll hold those up together so you can see them side by side outside of the bags. Oh my goodness. So, so glorious. Look at just the shine. This is so shiny. Wow. Look at this together. That is going to be absolutely gorgeous, you guys. That is so pretty. That, oh my gosh, and it just smells so fantastic. I might just sit here for a minute and... It's like sheepy, but also just lovely. It smells very clean. It doesn't smell like um, it doesn't smell like sheep like right off the pasture like sometimes you get in fiber or in yarn. Um, 
it smells very sheepy and woolly and this like it has that smell but it also smells very clean so oh my gosh absolutely gorgeous this is going to be fantastic to spin with oh my goodness okay so I'm gonna put the fiber back in the bag and let's dig into the notions bag and then I want to check out um what I do with the bag and then I want to check out the pattern card that they that they send along as well so okay so let's open the notions bag and see what we have in here okay so the first thing I am pulling out is the black and white sticker very cute and then we have of course some stash tea it smells lovely too this one is organic lavender tulsi and it's a caffeine free tea so that'll be lovely and else do we have? okay and then we've got something wrapped up very carefully in bubble wrap so let's see uh this is very, very secure. It's very, there we go, <laughs> sticky. What is this? Okay, here we go. That bubble wrap is very sticky. All right, so what do we have? Oh, this looks like it might be an essential oil or something. There's like a little tiny bottle and then there is this cute little stitch marker and it's got like a black and white bead inside of that. All right, so hang on. Let's see what it says. Okay, so in the notions bag, it says, create a space of calm while crafting with your two milliliter dropper of organic Bulgarian lavender essential oil and a spiral stitch marker with two contrasting lava beads entrapped inside. Oh, that's really cool. So you can put the oil onto the lava beads. That's cool. Use your dropper to place a single drop of oil on the beads and enjoy a pleasant scent while you knit or crochet. Enjoy a soothing organic cup of tea that blends leaves from the Tulsi plant with calming lavender. Tulsi has been revered in India for more than 5,000 years and according to folklore is a healing balm for the body, mind, and spirit. This gentle blend is a tea that fosters a sense of serenity. Eunice the sheep has taken a striking Yuan and Yuang appearance <laughs> for this month in a clear vinyl sticker form. So they did a little play on the yin and yang with the yuan and yuang. <laughs> so that's really funny. Awesome, okay, so that is, this is everything in our duality bag. But let's have a look at the pattern suggestion. So. For this month, oh, that's really cool. <clears throat> that's really cool. So they do a mosaic knitting pattern recommendation. Mosaic knitting, a well-kept secret. Coined by Barbara G. Walker in the late 1960s, mosaic knitting is the term used to describe the novel color knitting technique that uses slip stitches to create dramatic mosaic designs. If you've never tried this technique before, I have not, you'll find it easy to learn and exciting to use. The technique is neither unusual nor excessively demanding. If you can knit a stitch and slip a stitch, you can mosaic knit. In the old method of working designs in color, fair isle knitting, the knitter must work with two strands of a yarn at once knitting stitches with one color and then another, carrying the unused strands across the back of the work as they go. 
In mosaic knitting, the knitter never has to handle more than one strand of yarn at a time, and there are no extra strands thickening your fabric on the back side. So, and then they say, learn more by visiting Ravelry.com, patterns, resources for mosaic knitting. So, okay. And then on the back of the card, we've got a picture of the beautiful black and white that they have spun up using this fiber. And it says, one of the oldest and most prominent breeds of Scandinavia Gotland descended from three different breeds of sheep that were traded and crossbred by the Vikings. The original Swedish short-tailed, the Uzbekistan Karakal, and the Russian Romanov. The lustrous and strong long wool that we know and love today selectively emerged in the 1920s. The wool is dense, and wavy with an open curly crimp. Although it classifies as a long wool, the fiber diameter is thin by comparison of classic long wools at 20 to 32 microns. Gotland possesses a very soft and silky texture unlike other long wools with a brilliant luster shared by other long wools. When blended with other wool as we have done, in our Gotland Tweed selections, the resulting yarn is both soft and strong with a fluffy halo similar to mohair blends. The incorporation of wild Tessa silk produced from wild silkworms adds a beautiful matte finish that contrasts the natural sheen of Gotland and increases the strength of your yarn. I was assuming that the sheen was coming from the silk actually in the fiber, but maybe maybe it's not. They're saying that that is a matte finish and that the sh uh, sheen is coming from the wool itself. Well, that's really cool. Um, let's see. To add to the rustic feeling of this classic blend, we've added bits of viscose tweed that will create a textured, slubby feel to your finished yarn. Spin yin and yang separately to showcase their individual beauty or ply them together to bring balance to two contrasting yarns for a marled effect. And that is exactly what I think I am going to do with mine. I think that I think that I will definitely spin these separately and then ply them together. And so probably, I don't know if I'll wash the fiber before I spin it. I've never actually done that. I've always just spun fiber and then when it gets washed is when I am setting the yarn. Um, maybe what I will do is, what do you guys think? Should I, should I wash the fiber first? I've never done that, so that would be interesting, but maybe a little bit nerve wracking. Or should I spin it up and then wash my single ply and make sure that I wash the single ply before applying it together with this, which is kind of what I'm thinking that I should do. How would you guys go about it? Would you wash it first before you spin even the singles? Or do you think that you would go ahead and spin it up as a single and then wash it before plying it together? Because I think that I definitely would want to ply these together. Um, because I think that would make an absolutely beautiful yarn. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing what came in the February Paradise Fibers Fiber of the Month Club box. So we had the yin and the yang. And just to give you guys one final look at this beautiful fiber together. That is it's just so beautiful and it is it's very shiny i think i'm going to take a couple pictures of this in the outdoor light as well just so that you can see what it looks like in some natural light um yeah so i will insert some pictures at the end of this video of the fiber in natural light for you guys all to see and so then the other little notions that we got we got this little lavender essential oil and this lava bead stitch marker really cool idea so 
yeah so that is everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you would like to know when i am having new videos out there be sure to subscribe and turn your notifications on and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you next month for another fiber club unboxing bye